Uh, hi guys, it's uh, Scrappy Kathy here with uh, an apology. I ha thought I had the camera running and it either switched off uh, because there's a partial video out there. Um, so I'm just going to quickly kind of run through. This is a Calvin Ball layout that started with this sketch from uh, 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. And it was a short video and I planned it that way. I took my color inspiration from the edited photos, the filtered photos, and it's about, it's about my husband's Crocs. Those Crocs have been around the world. The um, journaling I'll read to you in a second, but I matted the two photos and the um, journaling with three different sheets from this color wash um, pad, which I absolutely love and don't use nearly often enough. That's the only thing I have from that collection are two six by six pad, paper pads. So I went looking for something, uh, to be honest, a little bit kind of color washy looking like this for my background paper. And instead I came up with this SEI paper that has some shiny spots and these outlines with splotches of, um, of watercolor on them. And I decided that this could fit because that kind of looks like the vines and the greenery are all around the river when we were on this float trip that, uh, that shows John wearing those same blue Crocs. So um, I cut some banners out of uh, one of the, well, this, this sheet, and I cut the snowflake out of that too, um, uh, punched them. And I'm going to, sorry about that, I hit that with my glasses. Um, I'm gonna count this as ombre, this as pink, and this as a banner. And so that's kind of when you when you're can't stack points, that's kind of what you do. I have used these three water, watercolor markers to add in some colors into the, onto the SEI paper. Didn't do a lot, just a little bit of highlighting here and there, enough to get the point and to kind of add a little bit of interest. So I'll be adding hearts and stars and uh, hedgehogs and squirrels and palm trees and things like that to get points um, in a minute. And I'm gonna use these uh, arrows. on here um, because I saw them and they're, they reflect something that's in the original. And of course I did it wrong and I don't have my tweezers to pull that up. That's not a good thing I did there because it's on a photo and it can't be pulled up or it'll pull some of the paper from the photo. So that kind of will qualify as my arrow. I'll probably pull some of these, these things. And I will do all that off camera. I'm gonna put my title in a circle here, but I'll read you my journaling. It says, these old Crocs went with us everywhere we expected to be in water. They protected his feet from the rocky beach in Nice, France. He wore them as he waded into the Aegean in Mykonos, Greece. He wore them in Batopilas, Mexico, and Rotan, Honduras, and in Tonga on Fafa Island. They took in the mud in Lake Lanier, Georgia, and on the river bottom of the Chattahoochee on the tubing trip pictured in the photo. They've been around the world, always packed when we hit the road in the RV, stuffed into the bag with our snorkeling equipment, toted along on rafts and kayaks. I hated to part with them, but it was time, but I had to record their story. So I took that photo before I, I pitched them, and, uh, and I went looking for a photo that showed him wearing them. There were several but I like this one the best. And so I filtered them both with the same uh, watercolor filter with the, th in the Waterlog app on my phone. So I'm gonna go finish this and add Calvin Ball points and I'll see you for my next layout. Bye.